Well, hello, everybody in my Instacart community. I'm so glad you're here for yet another video about the Instacart adventures. Don't we just have them? My goodness. Well, so what I'm noticing now, maybe you are too, is it's turning back to water season again. And I got an order for... um the 36 packs of, I think it was either Poland Springs or Acadia from Stop and Shop. And I can't lift those suckers. I just can't lift them. So I had to say out of stock and get three of the 24s, which still killed me. Thank goodness for my little red wagon. Do you have a little red wagon? It is, it's a back saver <clears throat> for sure. And so, um, yep, here we go. And it doesn't help when the stores have them discounted on sale for the week either but yep water season's back and like it or not it's gonna happen along with deli season because people like their cold cut sandwiches on the beach oh well <laughs> so i wish i wish every place had a little kiosk where you could order your deli cuts and i find that um there's a couple that people keep getting i think it might be low sodium turkey boar's head or something and it just isn't on the kiosk so you're just kind of screwed. It, it's okay at 7 a.m. with an early order when you can get there and just be the only customer, although they're so busy setting up sometimes that I, I can't believe how slow they are, though. Oh my. Doesn't it just make you crazy when you watch them? And I start timing them. You know, I quickly look down at my app. And yes, sometimes I do not start the app before the deli. But there are other times when I've had to drive 20 or 25 minutes to get to that particular store because of school buses or something like that at that hour of the morning. And so they've already said, please start your batch. They send you that little text on the top of your phone. <laughs> you're being naughty, Sarah. I know you're trying to get away with some shopping before turning it on so your speed looks better. My speed will never be better. And because... I'm just an old lady that would rather be accurate than um, zooming through the stores. It's enough with the, I don't know if you've seen them in your stop and shops or whatever they call the stores where you are, but um, the in-store shoppers, and then they've got that, that bigger kind of metal thing that looks like it could take out a, a shin if it hits you. Um, and they're rushing around. They must, you know, be on a timer or something because they're always doing this as they put in the oranges. And and then they just, they go so fast and they go up the aisles the wrong way with this. You know, it's big. It's powerful. It's heavy. They're doing a few orders at the same time. Ooh, I don't want to look like one of them, be one of them, or be in the line of one of them when they're really late. But they, they look like they're, it, it looks like Heart Attack Central with these, young people, you know, a 20-year-old doing it, and, and uh, no thank you, but I guess it's a pretty good way to make a pretty good wage. So um, I've been doing okay. My rating um, for the last couple of days has been at 4.98. I have one four-star that, uh, you know, I'm doing my batches around, but the orders at 4.8, between 4.7 and 4.8 are significantly bigger and uh, tippier. I like tippier. So um, I did get a five star yesterday, but I got the wrong Burt's Bees lip balm. And it's like, okay, but they still gave me a five star, which was nice. A nice elderly couple. And they gave me a tip in the app and under the rock in a baggie on the deck when I got there too. So nice people. And, you know, once again, that theory of if they tip you, in cash, oftentimes they're, they're already in the app as something too. And so, yep, no tip, no trip. That last one, that was, you know, the people in the resort on the water with the roses and the vase and the vase and, you know, all, yeah. Hope you had a nice vacation. Thanks for, you know, making a lot of <laughs> servers um, of all sorts in the industry, you know, bitter on Cape Cod as you, you know, free willed your way through your weekend. I hope it was lovely for you. <laughs> so nothing quite so new. Um, 
in the five star with the Burt's Bees, they did send a rather long and detailed um, list of, you know, no mushy this and make sure you do that and don't buy this until you're done with that area of the store because we want it to be. And okay, okay, okay. You know, the dairies last and all that. And um, what happened was the app went out, the um, internet connection they usually have on the uh, Wi-Fi at this store, but it's pretty poor in the summer. And I don't know why just the summer and the winter it was totally fine, but it went lost connection. So for 25 minutes, they didn't know where I was. And I had trouble checking out and I had to call Instacart, you know, do the blah, blah. And, um, and don't be afraid to call them in the middle of one of your shops because most of their agents are trained to be, if you're shopping actively, they get back in touch with you right away and deal with it right away. So they were able to push it right through and I got the receipt and I could take the picture and the ink on the receipt was good. So I haven't gotten beat up about that yet. Um, so it's also interesting how the beat goes on with Instacart's expectations of us along with doing the five-star shopping. I, I'm sorry I screwed up their Burt's Bees. I, I was so happy to find the little kiosk once again with them with the Carmex and the Chapstick and the Burt's Bees. And sometimes those things can just not work out. And um, the um, Everlast, Evershore, Energizer, the Energizer batteries, they don't carry anymore at this particular store. They're just down to the store brand now. So they have the kiosk. So a lot of texting in this particular order, but that's okay. If you've got somebody that you're working with and you know that each time you encounter, uh, oh, I'm going to need their approval for this, and they're right there. It really is helpful. As we all know, the ones that don't respond until two minutes before you're ready to leave, you know, like, I'm getting ready to head to the checkout. Um, I have replacements in mind that I sent you, but I can't unless you've approved sort of text going out, and then they come to life, and there you are in the store. You know, I keep threatening to get a pedometer. Do you, any of you have a pedometer and see how far you go? I know my husband uses one on the job and sometimes he gets in five and six miles and he does heating and air conditioning. So it's maybe a lot of trips back and forth to the, to the truck or up to the roof and back down. I don't know, but yeah, so no complaints. Here we go. Um, I plan to you know, suit up and get out there again today and see where the adventure takes me. Um, I hope you have a great productive day as well. And I will see you here the next time on Instacart Pearls of Wisdom. My name is Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.